Today's story is a very old book that you can see doesn't even have a title on it. It just has a drawing. What do you think this illustration is of? Hmm. You can see there's some spots around it. Looks a little like a triangle on a stick. This is a story written by somebody named Taro Yashima, and it's called Umbrella. And I read this story last year to my TK class when my friend Avery moved to Tokyo, Japan, because it's a story that takes place in the country of Japan. And it used to belong to my family member, Aunt Marnie, who used to be a preschool teacher. We've had this book for a long time. It says, To Emily Elizabeth Rose Rubin, from Great Aunt Marnie Peterson Crosby, much joy and fun and love. And then it's dedicated to Momo on her eighth birthday. Silent Connection, if you know somebody who's eight years old. And I'll show you. I love the pictures in this. They're all beautiful. I think they're pencil sketchings. But you see there's lots of colors. And it's a story all about a rainy day, and we've had a few rainy days lately. So I thought it would be a nice comforting story to hear while you're sitting inside in the rain. This is a Japanese character that says Haru, which means spring. Momo is the name of a little girl who was born in New York, but the word Momo means the peach in Japan, where her father and mother used to live. So this story is in New York, but her parents are from Japan. On her third birthday, Momo was given two presents. Red rubber boots and an umbrella. They pleased her so much that she even woke up that midnight to take another look at them. Do you have rain boots and umbrella? What's the season after spring? The next season is summer. Or in Japanese, it says natsu. Unfortunately, it was still summer and the sun was bright. Every morning, Momo asked her mother, who used to take her to the nearby nursery school, why doesn't the rain fall? The answer was always the same. Wait, wait, it will come. But a lot of us are using our patience tools right now, waiting to leave our house, waiting for sunshine, waiting for rain, waiting for school to come back. One morning, Momo was more impatient than ever because the sun was brighter than ever. But strangely enough, a splendid idea made her jump up when she was watching the sunshine in her milk glass. I need my umbrella. The sunshine bothers my eyes. But her mother said, you know you can enjoy the sunshine better without the umbrella. Let's keep it for a rainy day. She has to use her patience to a lot, waiting through spring and summer for the rain to fall. The next morning, Momo was still unhappy because she still could not use her umbrella. But strangely enough, another idea made her jump up while she was watching the people on the street. I certainly need my umbrella today. The wind will bother my eyes. But her mother said, the wind might blow your umbrella all away. Let's save it for a rainy day. You can see all the different colors that Taro Yoshima uses in these drawings. See, even on the gray sidewalk, there's yellow and red and blue. Maybe you can draw what you see out of your window today. And this symbol says ame, which means rain. It was many, many days later when the, finally the rain fell. Momo was wakened by her mother's voice. Get up, get up. What a surprise for you. How do you think Momo is going to feel when she sees the rain outside? Probably pretty excited. Momo did not stop to wash her face. She even pulled the boots onto her bare feet. She was so excited. The pavement was all wet and new. Doodling that she had drawn yesterday was not there anymore. Instead, raindrops were jumping all over like tiny people dancing. You can look out your window when it's raining next and see all the raindrops, how they dance in the puddles. And maybe if you've done some chalk drawings, you'll watch all the colors wash away with the rain, just like Momo's. 
The street was crowded and noisy, but she whispered to herself, I must walk straight like a grown-up lady. She's very proud of her new boots and umbrella. On the umbrella, raindrops made a wonderful music that she had never heard before. Think, can you imagine the sound of raindrops on your umbrella? Here's how she heard it. Pompolo, 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 like a little xylophone that you block and spiel by marimba. The rain did not stop all day long. Momo watched it at times while she was playing the games at nursery school. She did not forget her umbrella when her father came to pick her up and take her home. She used to forget her mittens or her scarf so easily, but not her umbrella. Silent connection if you forget things at school a lot. No, but it's easier to remember when it's something special to you, like you're sharing. The street was crowded and noisy, but she whispered to herself, I must walk straight like a grown-up lady. On her umbrella, the raindrops made the wonderful music. Pompolo, 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 polo, polo, pompolo, polo, polo, pompolo, polo, polo, pompolo, all the way home. And this says Momo. Do you remember what Momo means? It's a fruit. Peach. Momo is a big girl now. And this is a story. She does not remember at all. She was only three when this story happened. A lot of people don't remember stories from when they're three when they grow up. Because Momo is a grown up. Does she remember or not? It was not only the first day in her life that she used her umbrella. But it was also the first day in her life that she walked alone without holding either her mother or her father's hands. She was holding her umbrella, and she was so grown up that when she was walking like a grown-up lady, she didn't hold her parents' hands. And that is the story of Momo's umbrella. And as you guys have special things in, that you're enjoying in your house, and you're spending time with your family, what are things that you do that make you feel happy? Maybe it's using your umbrella on a rainy day. I like splashing in puddles. Maybe it's being able to walk next to your parents instead of holding their hand if you're being safe. Whatever it is, draw me a picture of something that makes you feel happy. Maybe it's something that made you feel happy today and send me a picture. I love you. I'll talk to you soon.